Um, my name is Sean Rodriguez and I'm a licensed professional counselor and a lifelong horsewoman. Um, I've been doing this work for about 13 years and the horses are, are our right hands in this work. My name is Brendan Rodriguez and I'm an equine specialist. Um, my approach is a very non-pressured approach. Horses learn from the release of pressure, not the application of pressure. And we believe the answers come from within the client. And that doesn't happen under pressure. That happens when the field is open, if you will, and they're able to take the time to be in the moment and learn about themselves. And then the answers come to them naturally. I love working with PCS team because it is a team. There are so many different elements that come together in, in one place, in one little magical place in Scottsdale, where um, everyone has different talents, different abilities, different modalities they bring to the table. And there's so much communication and teamwork that happens within this group. The horses have chose us, <laughs> and um, we truly believe in that part of the process. And I would say just like how a lot of clients they've chosen PCS to come to. So each of the horses that have chose us have stayed and have been with us some for the last 15 years and as recently as the last six months ago and this becomes their forever home. Um, we say the horses either give us what we need or they put out there what we need to see and sometimes it's the same thing. The way it helps, uh, helps the clients within the IOP um, First, it is that level playing field where they're coming in and the horses don't care where they're from, where they've been, how much money they make, what kind of car they drive, what they eat for breakfast. They're, they're just, they are meeting them in the moment. And that is a, is a playing field that not many people get to walk into. Um, but we live in a world where everything is very external and judgmental and to be able to come out and be with animals that just see you in the moment and give you back what you need to see is, I think, a true gift. It's not unusual each week to have at least one or two people who are fearful of the horses or have challenges with allergies. Um, maybe they've had something happen in the past that wasn't such a pleasant experience. And we just take the pressure off at the beginning and invite them to practice self-care, do what they need to do to feel safe, whether that's physically, by stepping out of the arena when or if they need to, or if they have an emotionally get stirred up, to pull one of us aside and let us help them um, get their feet back under them and get grounded. Um, we typically don't have people that stay outside the arena. They'll venture in and think they might step out, and they stay in. Yeah.